Hello, good citizens. My name is Dan, and this is an update to the incident where Alex Yellowvats of VicPD forwarded to the CRD IRSU was recorded acting oppressive and abusive to a citizen, willfully and unlawfully. He committed discreditable conduct, abuse of authority, and committed criminal assault. He also refused to ID and violated multiple citizens' rights under the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Last but not least, he also committed fraud against the public trust and his oath of office he swore to uphold. Now this incident has gone as far as it's going to go. Uh, you may remember that I filed a lawsuit and my team and I served Alex Yellowvats at home on December 20th, 2016. So it's been a while since I've been able to update this incident and I am now going to start releasing information on what happened, how far it went, and whether or not I'm satisfied with the results. Now this update in particular will focus on what happened when I got home after my team and I served Alex Yellowvats at his home on December 20th, 2016. <laughs> well, when I got home, I got a phone call from a Central Saanich Police Sergeant named Paul Braley. As per my usual routine, I recorded the call. Now, at the time, it seemed like an innocent and unimportant call, not really worth publishing or even saving. Uh, well, oh boy, was I ever wrong. This recorded call is a reminder. Always document your interactions with the police and keep that documentation because you never know when you'll need to rely on it if the police accuse you of something. And... If you have your interactions with them recorded, it serves as an objective record, which may protect you against unlawful legal action. This phone call is actually a perfect example of why I try to record everything. Absolutely every time you have an encounter with the police, you need to record it. Now, I'm just going to play the audio from this phone call. It's almost completely unedited. And I'll bring up some things that were said in this phone call uh, later in a final video on this incident in the near future. So listen carefully. There's some things said here that seem innocent, but you'll see in upcoming videos on this, that was not the case. Thank God I recorded this call. Here it is. Enjoy. This is Dan. Dan, is that Dan? Who's this? Central Spanish Police. How can I help you, sir? Okay, perfect. I got the right person. So, Daniel, uh, obviously uh, you, you uh, attempted to serve some papers on uh, uh, on, a, on an address today. I actually have those papers. I, I just wanted to let you know that as of the moment, they haven't been served on the on the individual. But what I wanted you to know is that I do have them, and I'm going to make them available, obviously, on the file to uh, the city of Victoria. Okay, because your uh, your two well it includes uh, uh, Mr. Yalavat. Uh, he's he is a police officer. He refused to uh, accept or retrieve them. Okay. So I just want to let you know that you you you've attempted to serve the the documents. As far as I'm concerned, they're sort of I have them now in the police department in uh, Central Standage. I don't think be in a position to uh, ensure that they uh, they go to uh, the Victoria. Uh, I, I guess the city of Victoria legal side. Oh, they've already been served. That's that's Alex's copies. You uh, yeah, well, I say, have they already been served on Victoria? I, I see Alex has Alex has not taken them. So uh, oh no, he, no, he, I... he didn't even go out the door. He called us, and uh, uh, so I mean, you can you can you can you know claim that they've been served. He hasn't got a copy of them as it is at the moment. But I have uh, placed them on a central Sandage police file, yeah. and they will be uh, they will be available, and I'll be making sure that uh, I'm, I'm the city of Victoria knows that uh, his copy are available for. Uh, I'm for sorry. Pickup. I'm sorry. I didn't get your name, sir. It's it's uh, Bailey B A Y L E Y. Okay. And do you have a badge number? Yes, I do. It's number thirty. Okay. So what I did was I dropped it at his feet when he refused to take it. So he has been served. Yeah, and that's fine. I I, I, yeah. I don't want to get involved in the legalities. Yeah. I read your document, and it's well written, and uh, yeah. I understand what you're trying to achieve. So uh, I just wanted to let you know. Obviously, when you turn up at someone's house, that I, I I know you you know you had a, a bad interaction, but it's also not a positive interaction when people go to their houses uh, late at night as well. So 
Uh, it's probably easier to do it while the person works because they're always available then than it is at night time. But, uh, you know, I, I do have the documents. They, I'm assuming that you, you believe that they're served, which is fine. But uh, I have the document and I'll make sure it's available to sure. the lawyers which represent Alex through I, I just had a couple uh, the Victoria Police Department. I just had a couple of questions first. Sure. Did you come across these papers because you were just driving by and you saw them there? No, I, I came across them because I was called. You, and why were you called? Because they were, they were concerned that there was people trespassing on their property. Oh, no, that's not happening. No, I, no. Was, I was serving a lawsuit and then leaving. I, I know, I, I'm yeah. only telling you what uh, police were called on that uh, particular day or time. So, yeah, so uh, when, when he refused I, I'm to... I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm absolutely <laughs> not accusing you of anything. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, and any file that relates to that will say the, say the fact. Yeah, so so when he refused to take them from my hand when I passed them to them, I dropped them at his feet. So he has indeed been served, sir. So you, you, those documents should not be in your possession at all. Okay, well, he, he wanted them gone, so... Uh, that's them and, that's not up to him, uh, sir. Sir, excuse me, sir, may I talk? Sure you can. That's not up to him. Yeah, well, I'm just telling you how it stands at the moment. Yeah. You, you probably legally serve them as long yeah. as you can yeah. articulate the can service. I, that's not your problem, right? Can I ask you another question, sir? Sure you can. Is it because he has a badge, he feels he has extra rights to not be served lawsuits? Uh, I would, uh, well, you'd have to ask him that, but I would say that that isn't the case. Yeah. We get well, called all the time, so. Yeah, it's just by you being called at your law enforcement and somebody called you for something that wasn't against the law, and and someone who's been served documents who refused to take them and had them dropped at their feet, he knows as well as I do and as well as you do that he has been served. And by you being in possession of those papers, uh, something's really going wrong there. I'm probably going to have to file a complaint about that, that you are actually now in possession of those papers, sir. Yeah, and that's, that's totally within your right. I, there, there is a file, and, and you, you can get that information, and... Uh, like I said, I mean, uh, he wanted them gone. I took them. They're, they're in a file. They're available to uh, Mr. Yalavats' yeah. counsel, which will be through the Victoria Police Department. So. Yeah, with with all due respect, sir, you know what you should have done? Uh, what, what? You should have told them that there's no laws being broken. Stop bothering us. We're busy. Uh, well, you know, we, 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 because we get called. We get called lots of times a year as do Victoria Sandage and... We investigate. We're not. I'm not claiming that there was any offence committed by you by turning up. Yeah. I'm not thinking it's the best thing to turn up yeah. at nine o'clock at night at, <laughs> at, a, at a house. But were yeah. you doing anything wrong? I would probably say not. But was it the best use of uh, your ability to serve documents on a police officer at his own house at late yeah. at night? It's probably not the smartest move. Because can I? You could have got him many, many other times. Can I? Can I just actually working? Can I just say one more thing, and it's probably best to let you go, because I know you're busy. Okay. Um, I actually tried to, the problem I had with him, I tried to go about it the right way. Yeah. And going about it the right way actually turned out to be a big hilarious joke in the eyes oh, of the no. law and, and the police act and the complaints process. So that's oh. how we got to where we are today. So uh, for the record, I actually tried to go about it the right way from day one. And due to the uh, corruption in the complaints uh, process, uh, mainly, uh, it's one of your sergeants there, his name's Greg. Um, he, uh, abetted the cover up of the, uh, complaint that I made. Um, so that's actually how we got to this situation. And I, and to be honest with you, I would have served, uh, Mr. Yelovats the lawsuit at his work as I did to constable Kirkwood two months ago. But, yep. uh, when I served constable Kirkwood two months ago at the Victoria police department, Sergeant Matt Waterman came out and advised me not to film at the police station anymore. So I thought, well, I guess, uh, you know, Matt's got a good point because Matt said that uh, there's private crimes that are being reported at the police station and I shouldn't record there. And I said, you know, you got a really good point there because when I came in to report the crimes that Sergeant Yellowvats did to me, someone could have recorded that. So he did have a good point. So I thought, you know what? I probably shouldn't take it to the police station. And as per the advisement of Sergeant Matt Waterman. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, I think it's too bad that your interaction with the police has been poor. I mean, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't like that. We're a smaller police department. We try not to deal with that. Did, did you say you actually went to the OPCC and it didn't, uh, they didn't take your complaint? They covered it up. 
Yeah, I, I have proof of it. We're within your right to do what you are doing. I'm not claiming that. And, yeah. uh, you know, I, I, I think it's too bad that it, it actually came to this. But you're, you are going the right, I, I guess you're going the right way about trying to do this. <laughs> I don't think it's a great way of doing it late at night. But if you've exhausted all the opportunities, then you are where you are now. Yeah. So like now I you said, have to try and get it going through the courts. Like I, like I said, I, I tried to start it with a, with a complaint going through the proper channels. And when they told me to politely go pound sand, uh, yeah. that's when I thought there's more to this. This is not what they're supposed to be doing. I did some research on the police act and I did a little digging and I found a lot of dirt. And uh, even your sergeant down there at Central Saanich, uh, Greg there, he's, he played a big part in covering up this whole mess. You're talking, which, Greg, you're talking about Central Saanich? Yeah. He, Greg Johnson. He, Greg Johnson. He investigated it, and he and he he covered it up for. Uh, he downplayed the whole thing. He um, left out a lot of the evidence that I told him that I had in the investigation, and that went to Crown Council, and then they all colluded to uh, decide that there wasn't a uh, enough. Uh, there there wasn't. Um, uh, uh, it didn't meet the charge standard for assault, even though there's a video of me being assaulted. There's pictures of an assault. And he admits on the video that he's assaulting me. And it's funny, too, because uh, previously, a year before that, somebody claimed that I assaulted them, and all the police had was a verbal statement and an email, and I got prosecuted for it. Oh, my God. Yeah, so this is all going public. And everyone on Vancouver Island and British Columbia and, and Canada and probably lots of places in the States are going to know all about this, and it's going to be very public. Well, I'll, 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 you know what, there's a process to follow. You're obviously a smart man that knows the process, so I will let you follow it, and then uh, well, that will that, that will be as may how it works out. And uh, like I said, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I, I just want to let you know what we were doing and why we were called, and uh, I'm not claiming, and my report does not claim that you did anything. All I'm saying is that when someone calls the police and they're concerned about their safety, we go. It just happened on this time. It was another yeah. police officer. If you'd have done the same, we'd have come and yeah. supported, supported you. So, that's that's funny. Uh, I'm a central standard. That's, that's uh, funny you say that, sir, because when he assaulted me, I called 911, and you know what they told me? This was on a Friday night. They told me to call back on Monday. Oh, God. <laughs> well, this is all going public, sir. Yeah, I, I'm sure. I'm sure <laughs> I don't want to be a, a, a colleague in this uh, thing, and I'm, I'm appearing to be, but uh, I'll let, I'll let Yeah, and okay. you, sorry, were you a sergeant? Yes, I was. Sergeant, ba Paul. sergeant Bailey. Yes. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your professionalism. Um, no I am. Problem, I, I will tell you right now. I do not hate police officers or law enforcement. Yep. What I do not like is when Canadian citizens have the rights and freedoms thrown out the door, thrown out like 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 bathwater, when yeah. when real issues come up. And that's why we're here tonight, sir. I'm not here because, um, you know, the complaint process works, if you know what I'm saying. Well, we probably wouldn't be here if, if uh, the complaint process had uh, gone the way you would hope it to be. But, uh, you well, know, I don't look after the complaint process. I'm, uh, I'm just doing my job tonight. And, yeah, uh, I appreciate you know, that, sir. If you, ever, if you ever call us, we will give yeah. you the same support that it, you give the... Uh, the officers that live in our community and uh, just because you've had a bad interaction with yeah. one or two doesn't mean it's always going to be the same so i appreciate so that sir. and uh, i will no doubt speak to you again at some other time i appreciate your uh, professionalism sir perfect thanks daniel you have Bye. a safe oh it's dan you have a safe shift sir dan, sorry you have a safe you have a safe shift sir thanks sir Bye -bye. take take care bye bye